In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate an overview of scientific literature using SciSpace. Uh, suppose you have downloaded SciSpace. Now go to the SciSpace folder and get started. Uh, you have to agree here to get proceed. Now the function we're going to use is called overlay maps. Select so like here is JCR journal maps. So here are two maps we're looking at. Uh, these this is why we call the dual map overlay dual map, which means uh, there are two maps involved. On the left hand side, there's a map called the citing journals map. On the right hand side, this is uh, cited journal map. So the labels on the map shows the uh, disciplines involved in those areas. Labels are extracted from journal titles. So uh, we're going to add uh, what is called overlay on top of this about any scientific topic you're interested in so that you can get an overview of where you are. So let's just do that based on the data set we downloaded earlier on uh, information visualization. Uh, we use this function here, add overlay. The data format is Web of Science. Okay. Now we're going to locate where we have saved that data. It's in Web of Science folder, information visualization. Here's the folder that contains uh, the three files we downloaded before. We can select the color, but we're going to uh, use it later when we have more than one data sets overlays. Uh, wait for a while as size based processing the data. So now we have uh, this dual map overlays generated. Uh, let me explain what what, uh, what we're looking at. So on the the lines or the the lines are citation links starting from the left and point to uh, journal on the right. So uh, if you're familiar with uh, citations, uh, these are the patterns, uh, how scientific publications are located on the left and the influences they draw from the right. Uh, circles indicate uh, how many people are involved in terms of authors and how many papers are published in those areas. So for example, this is the big circle, which means in, in the information visualization research area, there are lots of papers published in this area involving lots of authors. So the ratio between authors to paper is, uh, is like this. There are many authors in terms of the, the width and relatively fewer papers in terms of the uh, vertical, the height. So in this way, we can estimate very quickly how many people are involved, um, uh, where they publish, and what type of journals they often cite. We can also simplify the overview by using the z-scores function. So currently, uh, this overview shows all the details. Sometimes we need that, sometimes we, we don't. Now we're looking at the uh, overview, a slightly different version. This one is based on the same data set. Uh, however, the, the lines are emphasized for those 
connections that is really statistically more significant than others. So we retain fewer lines. Uh, they're thicker because they are uh, they're, they're more significant. So for example, this line is connecting, uh, according to labels here, is connecting psychology, education, and health to systems and computing on the right. So in other words, publications in psychological journals or health journals, they cite computing, computer journals. So in other words, in the context of information visualization, we know this is a really strong pattern. So once you're happy with the overview, you can save this as a picture. So this picture, you can save it to anywhere. You just save it to a, a place. Let's go back to that data. I want to save to the same directory so we can remember where to, to see them, to find them. Okay, so just save. And that's it. Uh, you can look at the save the pictures uh, later on. Thank you.